Stanford University. We had several questions come in about stroke. Uh, stroke historically has been viewed as something for which there's very little hope. Uh, people will have some functional recovery, usually in the first days or weeks after stroke, but frequently the effects of stroke are long-term and debilitating. And the question is, is there anything we can do about this? Can we get any leverage on this? Can we reverse this apparently irreversible condition? And there are several ideas that are really interesting that are floating around. There's a new important hypothesis that some of the deleterious effects that follow stroke are due to activation of autoimmune responses. So the, the, the important B cells in the immune response getting activated uh, in inappropriate ways leads to even more damage and even more neural even more neural death is the hypothesis and if we can intervene at that B cell system in the immune system we might be able to actually rescue some of the tissue damage that follows stroke other interesting ideas are using uh, non-invasive electrical stimulation techniques like transcranial magnetic stimulation and not simply using it as a diffuse way to exercise cells but actually using it to figure out which circuits are influencing which other circuits in the brain. So here at Stanford, we've developed a way to combine transcranial magnetic stimulation with magnetic resonance imaging. So we can put in a pulse of electromagnetic stimulation, and using the imaging then, we can see which circuits are responding to that pulse of magnetic stimulation. And the hope is that some of the circuits involving the affected region in stroke, we can actually show are important for creating new plasticity in the area, whereas other circuits may be less important, and if we can actually measure measure those things with the imaging, we can actually work out the circuits and which ones are best to stimulate in order to restore the affected area of the brain to some plastic state. And then another idea involves release of some of these trophic factors that encourage nerve growth and blocking some of the uh, molecular factors that discourage nerve growth, but actually timing the release of some of these molecules into the affected stroke area uh, through implants that go into the stroke area and then can release these trophic factors over time to encourage local nerve sprouting and local nerve regrowth. And this is a growth area. This is an area where there are, there are really smart people trying to figure out ways to deliver these molecular factors to restore the brain to a plastic state. So I think all of these kinds of things, uh, they're, they're smart, ambitious people trying to figure out ways to do this. And this big ideas group here at Stanford may well be among those in the country that are able to deliver real hope for stroke victims. Stanford University.